Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new promo coming to FC24 this Friday because it's new to us by name, but not necessarily by design, or so we think. Based off the news and the information that we have about this Golasso promo, get ready for a promo with a lot of icons and heroes and they actually might be packable. We're going to talk about that because it's drawing some comparisons to a promo we had at this exact same time last year, right after Ultimate Birthday. So we're going to look at that and what's happening today on Wednesday. Rolfo is getting another upgrade, and we have one last, or one of the last, Ultimate Birthday SBCs to be gracing the SBC section today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Of course, thank you guys for all the birthday wishes on yesterday's video. I've read them all. I've not responded to them all, but I feel the love, and thank you guys for that. Let's get into SBC content from yesterday quickly to go through this because there's not a whole lot to discuss. We had our player SBC yesterday is basically useful for the cup or if you are a fan of the Sevilla football club. It is Luca Bacchio. Medium low work rates is the downside of this card. But honestly, it's just a fun card and it's cheap. It's technical and finesse plus Luca Bacchio with five star skills. I don't know how good his finesse shots are actually going to be. Um, 85 long shots, but he's got the play style plus. He's also got rapid and it is pretty cheap it's two squads it's an 82 squad and an 85 so pretty easy to get done and he is again 88 rated so you can use him in the cup not a whole lot to talk about there but if you're a fan you're a fan and that could be a decent sbc also yesterday we had a player of the month pierre le melu which actually i've already completed and i would recommend if you guys need an 88 rated fodder card you do so as well with maybe some duplicates you get from an 84 times five very easy to get him done uh, i think it's an 84 squad with an 86 to get it done so very easy to get done and i put him straight into the show many sbc that i am still currently crafting and i'm almost done with he was very helpful inside of that i mean 88s on the market are like 18 or not 18k they're like 16k and he's a 16k sbc so it is an SBC that is very easy to craft, and in my opinion, you might as well go ahead and do it if you need that fodder with your throwaway fodder that you might have. We also had another 88 plus, right? Gamble Tuesdays, as we call them. We had the 88 plus wild cards versus or team of your honorable mentions player pick. They made it a little bit more expensive because it's a one of four, not a one of three. They increased it just as we thought that they would. Um, I don't know if it's worth it, guys, to be honest. I did see some more big pulls out of this with more choices and the higher rating. But I would say only craft this if there's not a player SBC that you want to do right now or if you're just jonesing for a gamble from the daily 84.5 grind to put some of that fodder into. That's kind of the best reason to, to do that, I think, on this game. Not expecting to get a big pull from any of those type of gamble player picks that you get there. Now, also, we did have an objective that was kind of released yesterday. It was the daily play. It was refreshed. I don't know if this was supposed to happen or if it wasn't, maybe this is kind of like a bonus for them messing it up the first time. Remember, the daily play completionist was already messed up around the first time because um, it was not counting for a couple days on the first weekend. So then EA extended the time and now it's out for another six days, 13 hours, which I'm not going to complain about because the daily play completionist, the packs are great going all the way through this. Hopefully it stays the next six days as it says that it's supposed to. Crossed fingers for that uh, because that is very, very good. Speaking of objectives, I'm almost done with the cup. I just need to win two more games, and we have that done. And today, looking forward in today's content, is the final day of the daily login. Massive day for an 85 times 4 and an 83 times 20. I don't think I'm going to save these for the next promo. I am going to rip these today with Ultimate Birthday being out and there because I just think, at the very least, you're going to get yourself a little bit more fodder because there's way more cards in packs. So I would say for you guys, I think it's better to open those packs today rather than save them for this Golasso promo. And with that, I mean, the market yesterday was a kind of a mixed bag too. It wasn't all good. It wasn't all bad. There were a couple flips that I was able to make. I bought a Benzema at 740, sold it at 807. A couple of small flips here or there. Uh, the rights were a good trade. If you followed that yesterday, the Sasha Bowie was pretty good as well. And then the rest of the stuff that I'm just kind of flipping right now on this game is just a simple, uh, I got a low bid on this Rodri. Going to sell him hopefully for like a little bit of profit here. Listing at 577, sold for or bought for 517. Uh, and the rest of these cards are just kind of being listed for lazies. The market's just kind of in a ho-hum spot. There are some cards that are down though because of the recent links and leaks uh, with this promo. Ooh, that was a really low bid on Tony Cruz. 1.89. I wish I would have 
been able to get that one. So I'm still out trading and watching the market because I think there are good fluctuations to be had here. Like this Rodrigo for 900K, maybe this Ronaldo on a low bid might be able to snag some deals. I would 100% say it's still a great time to trade. Just maybe be a little more careful with what is upcoming in terms of the content with the Golazo promo. So we've already mentioned it a couple times. Let's dig right into it, guys. What is this Golazo nonsense that we are talking about? Well, does anybody remember a promo last year where cards looked like this? Yes, Trophy Titans in FIFA 23 was a brand new promo that consisted of all icons and heroes. And it was kind of the, ba the first promo ever that made icons packable. Like you actually had a really good chance of packing icons i'm seeing a lot of similarities between this card design and the cards that we've seen leaked already for this golasso promo with especially the Cruyff. and we have a few more leaks to look at today but remember that Cruyff we talked about in yesterday's video we now have a leak for the al O'Wearin card as well and not just any al O'Wearin. evidently he's going to be an sbc and that's going to be massive, right? Because this Al in this year, you know, last year, if you guys played FIFA 23, you would definitely remember his World Cup Heroes card because it was everywhere. It was the one of the most meta cards in the game. And he was just him. Everybody wanted to use this card. Pros, everybody was using Al because he was so pacey and he was just so, so meta because of that pace. Fast forward to this year in FC 24, and I don't think I've ever seen this card except for maybe a cup. And then maybe one or two people evolved him in one of the hero evos. So then he took him up to like a higher rating. He's not been as meta this year just because of the sheer pace that he has. He hasn't been as good. I don't know what it is. He's still four star, four star, and the stats in his card aren't terrible. I mean, the pace is obviously the best thing. He needs more play styles for sure. But the fact that he is coming as an SBC could shake some things up now obviously they're going to give him a big juice in terms of the stats i hope he's going to have 99 pace it's of course not exactly known but since that was leaked yesterday fever trading arena says alloway is set to come as a golazo sbc nightmare um it, it's going to be a very pacey card it's going to be a card that a lot of people will probably want to do just based off of the pace. So that's a huge leak to start off with. An SBC for Alawayrin. And then, of course, you've got the leak for the Cruyff and a new leak yesterday of Ginola coming as a Golazo player. Of course, this is just soon after a lot of people have completed the triple threat Ginola SBC because they've wanted one of those Ginola cards in their club as an SBC to sit there and craft out and have in their ultimate team for a long time. So those are all the leaks that we have right now, and it's looking like this promo is going to be Friday. Now, again, let's talk about the comparisons of what we're seeing with these cards and these leaks that we've had so far and last year's Trophy Titans promo. Well, first of all, of course, you look at the card design for the icon for that Croy. It's got the orange edges. It's got orange on it. And EA obviously are known for the repetitiveness of the promos in the similar times throughout the year at certain points of the year. And that has us thinking about Trophy Titans. Now, last year was the first year that we saw this promo and it kind of it kind of came as a shock to the system of Ultimate Team because Icons last year had three versions still. They had the base, they had the mid, and they had the primes, right? But we saw last year with this promo, the first time ever, multiple versions of the same Icon in packs at the same time. Enter the Little Bro and Big Bro Icons, right? Remember, we had two versions of Philip Lam in this promo. We had this one that was 93 rated, and we had the Little Bro version, who was still better than the prime icon like you look at 91 prime lam this 92 version was a lot better and he was one fourth of the price on day one and ended up being literally fodder price later on in the year like look at this guys this card was 190,000 coins i remember him being 140k on day two and his prime card when that little bro version and the big bro version were dropped in packs was 400,000 coins this caused a massive massive crash on the icon market across the whole market and even on some of the meta market as well because these brand new trophy titans icon cards especially the little bro ones were so packable we even had icons like the first ever fodder icons like we had icons that were so cheap that everybody was packing remember little bro del piero and little bro fernando torres like these guys were annoying how easy they were to pack they were like 30k and that was this was the first time ever that we had icons around the same price of like normal regular promo cards in a promo and it was just astounding it was like the wow factor of icons in such a cheap card 
it was crazy. Like everybody was packing Del Piero and Torres and Yunberg and Donovan, right? And then of course you had Casillas that was really good. Lam, you had some big cards though too. It's not just all lower rated cards that are easy to pack. You had a massive Zidane. You had an insane Fernando Torres. And of course, all of these cards featuring dynamic images of them with a trophy, right? Hence the name Trophy Titans. So, not to mention, there weren't as many heroes, but there were some. And there was a team, too. This is a two-week promo last year as well. It was all the same thing. We had that R9, which was crazy. Um, we had Owen. We had Javi. We had Blanc. Gerard. This Cole was very good. Dudek was a staple as a prem goalkeeper with, of course, the hero Lynx. You had a Gerard. You had a dog leash uh, with the hat and, of course, the trophy. Vieira, Lampard. Multiple versions of Lampard. And multiple versions of... Uh, who was it? There was... Um, Matt Van Basten, there was another Dutch attacker. I forget which one it was, but there was another Dutch attacker. I don't think it was Van Nistelrooy. It might have been Bird Camp. There was a Bird Camp objective where you could like work your way up and uh, get a different version of Bird Camp. There was like a 93. Yeah, that's right. There was a 93 objective and there was a 94 rated version in packs. And you could get this 93 rated version that had a 4 4 and then the one that had 5 star. Uh, skills was in packs. That was kind of wild because it was basically an icon that everybody could get that was pretty meta in objectives. It was pretty dope. So uh, this promo has, it has promise, guys. We'll say it that way. This promo has promise because it could bring icons that are very, very packable. That, that's not what we're used to seeing. And I think that is what it is going to bring this year. It's going to change it up in terms of the packability of the icons because a lot of the icons that we have this year, um, the base icons are already so cheap and they've been so cheap because it's been a year we've had way more icons introduced into promos and that's been by ea's design right because we don't have the base we don't have the prime the mid and the base we just got one base icon now we've known that since the beginning of the year but we've had future stars icons thunderstrucks team of the years we've had so many different versions like the ultimate birthday icons that we have right now but they're all so difficult to pack like i don't know if i've packed a promo icon this year maybe like one you know what I'm saying? Uh, but these cards, like, you're actually going to have a decent chance of packing. Not all of them, of course, but specifically the little bro ones that they throw into this promo. Those are going to be pretty high pack weight. But even some of the other cards are going to have some decent pack. I remember this Baresi. This was like a super usable Baresi who started off being 600K, but ended up only being 460,000 coins. Um, and the biggest thing about this promo is it has the allure of the icon players, right? And they're affordable-ish. And except for the top tier ones, but they're packable and cheaper on the market, like a normal promo team, which just kind of has its own like weird feel to it. Right. So that's cool. But at the same time, um, I don't think this promo is going to end up being as crazy as maybe it was last year. Last year, it was more a shock to the system because of the first time that we had seen icons as packable as they were, right? It was like, oh my goodness, that uh, Fernando Torres is literally fodder price. I can go use a Fernando Torres icon card for 16,000 coins and that's crazy. Wow, yes, that is crazy. I think now that we've seen so many promo icons this year, it's probably not gonna hit the exact same. And I just don't know how there's, I mean, there's still some unknowns with this promo. Is it gonna be the exact same? Are there gonna be the two versions, the junior versions they were called, the little bro version? So there's still some unanswered questions. So it's not 100% fair to compare it with Trophy Titans at a one-to-one -one rate. But the way this car design looks, the way it's looking, it does look like it's gonna be somewhat similar. Now, the reason we have to talk about this and prepare for it is there might be a loading screen today. There's already starting to be a little bit of market preparation because I'm not saying there's going to be an R9 card. I actually think it's very unlikely there's an R9 card in this promo. Who knows? But R9 and some of these other icons have started to be listed up on the market as people are selling this stuff because they remember last year a promo that brought out a bunch of different icons. Specifically, you know, you had the R9, you had a crazy Zidane, Burkamp, Del Piero, Torres. It brings out so many icons that people want to go out and try because, of course, this year they're probably going to have all two playstyle pluses. And they're going to have sick car designs and dynamic images and boosted stats, right? It's going to drop some of the other existing icon prices on the market, especially if an, a card is coming out for a player who has not had a promo card in a while. Like this Thunderstruck Cruyff, since the leak of this new Cruyff has happened, how much has he come down? Uh, looks like, let's see. 4.9 mil, he was down as, down as low as 4.3. Right now he's 4.6, and he, he's, he gets rare, so he's bouncing back up. But I would expect Panic to continue on some of the Cruyff cards because of this, and then the more leaks that we see for players that are going to be in this Golasso promo, probably the more drops on the icon market you're going to have. I would say for the safe route, guys, 
I would not own any icons right now that are a player that has not had a promo icon recently, or maybe not a promo icon at all, just because this is going to really, I think, reset a lot of the icon market. Like I talked about with the Lom card from last year, Lom's base icon was still 400k. He went all the way down to uh, 100,000 coins because the new card came out. Now, of course, this year, the base Lom is dirt cheap. He's already super cheap, and we got a team of the year at Lom. So, if he's not getting a card, who is it going to be? Maybe a card like Eto. you got to think about heroes as well. Maybe a Cordoba. We haven't had a special Cordoba this year, but an Eto card that's 200 and something thousand coins. He's already really cheap, but you never know what's going to come out with leaks and what's going to happen. So just be very careful with that. And just again, to prove to you guys, this is a screenshot from one of my videos last year, how packable these icon players could be. A Trophy Titans icon player, 15% pack weight out of a 86 plus star player pack lightning round an 86 plus lightning round which i wish i could show you the lightning rounds right now in the store but just go take a look at the 86 plus star pack because i believe it'll be out again today on wednesday when they release the lightning rounds and look at the percentage for like ultimate birthday players i know the pack weight for birthdays is really high because we have a ton of players in packs but 15 percent chance of packing an icon like that's crazy. I know it's a promo pack percent. That's crazy, though, to be completely honest. That really shook the game up and the market up last year. And it's probably going to shake things up again this weekend as well. So that's what I would tell you. Be careful with icons right now. The top tier has already started to be sold off, as we looked at with that R9. Um, and it could be continued to sold off be sold off if there are more leaks. Same thing with the heroes, right? With the Ginola, those are some big names to start things off. Ginola and Croyd and an Alloway or an SBC. That's the type of SBC that can get people really excited on a promo Friday, um, especially because that's plug and play into any team. And if you've been wanting to use some Saudi players, that's a card you can very easily link to those. So I'm not trying to sit here and just blabber about this promo and hype it up. I'm just trying to give you guys a realistic expe expectation of what this Golazo promo right be might be. Because I really do believe it is going to be similar to the Trophy Titans promo of last year. And that promo was really cool because it was the first time the icons were so attainable. And impacted multiple icons during that promo just because the pack weight was different. And that's just kind of cool on its own right so we'll watch for a loading screen today see if we get more information and news um, i don't think it's going to cause an overall market crash i'm still trading in and out of cards as you can see talking about that but what i will say is i'm going to be a little more careful especially with the icons but again i'm not saving packs because everything right now with ultimate birthday i think looks better than what is maybe going to be out this next week and we'll break that down more as we get more information of course now let's go into today on wednesday and move towards what's happening in the here and now of ultimate team content today first things first right we got to talk about the wednesday of upgrades that we are going to be getting today this is my cup team at the moment it does not have my main team in mind but speaking of main team players we got upgrades coming in today, and I know a lot of you guys have been using this Timo Werner. Maybe that Delict, or specifically this Rolfo. Rolfo is finally reaching her final form today. She's going to go to a 93 rated card as a part of the Wednesday upgrades, which last week did not happen on time. Remember, we were upset because they were late. Hopefully today they are on time. These should happen three hours before the content drop. Rolfo is going plus one. Stanway is a huge upgrade, which I forgot. I even packed Stanway. I don't even want to know what her card's going to look like, but we're going to have to use her in Rivals today for sure. Uh, she's got Pinged Pass Plus and Jockey. She's going all the way to a 93 rated card. Might just have to run a Stanway, Rolfo, and Hullet midfield uh, today on this game. Tiki Taka Long Ball. Man, that's going to be a really good card. So we're going to have to try her out today uh, with her plus three. We've also got a couple cards that are really interesting for fodder purposes. Me Dema. Midema and Julie P. I want to point these cards out really fast because when you look at the cheapest 91 rated in the game, they are 43,000 coins. Midema is 38k. I'm not telling you to invest in this Midema card because it's probably going to be a card that doesn't rise up a ton, maybe 1 to 2,000 coins. Maybe she goes to 40k. I'm not saying invest. All I'm saying is Midema is going to become one of the cheapest 91 rated today if you're trying to do Shuameni, if you're trying to do um, Ribery, any of those high rated squads. Maybe you buy one of those, buy two stock in your trance list if you still need to finish off a high rated squad. Same thing with Julie P. Julie P is like 30,000 coins. She is going up to a 90 rated today and i think the cheapest 89 or 90 that we just looked at is 34k so 
you know, might be a cheap opportunity for you to pick up a card. I don't think they're going to explode in price today. Like, I don't think that uh, Midema is going to go straight to 45K or anything like that. It might be a continual slow rise on the high rated fodder because I do believe we are going to continue to see this fodder rise up, especially if we're getting an Aloe Wayron soon. That could be an SBC a lot of people want to do. Um, and it could be more demand for high rated fodder. Not to mention, we still have a Vinny Jr. Play of the Month that is on the horizon. Just wanted to point that out, though. That's an interesting part of the market today. But these are most of the upgrades that are coming. I mean, for some players that are maybe still a little bit up in value, since this might be their full upgrade potential or close to it, I would maybe sell on the hype. At this point, a lot of the fantasy cards don't have a lot of hype left in them, bar just a couple of them that have games left. So I'd be selling on the hype for those just to play it safe. Now, SBC wise today, we are getting Evan Ferguson, which I'm genuinely intrigued by this opportunity today that EA is giving us a Premier League center back. I think, though, I don't have high hopes for this, and here's why. Think about all the twin SBCs that we have had this year. Karchawi, we had the uh, Openda SBC that was a, uh, a twin, right? Two different versions. One five-star skill, one five-star weak foot. This Ferguson card, um, he could be good. I would just say watch out for other Prem strikers. It's, it's going to depend on the play styles that they add to this card. It's going to be five-star weak foot for one, five-star skill moves for other. Hopefully, the other skill moves or weak foot boost would go to a four-star instead of a three-star. Uh, guys, we're just going to have to see how much they price this at because I'm not expecting a twin SBC to be insane. But who knows? It might be a fun one to try. He is six foot two. Hopefully they give him, I don't know, he's got 71 heading and 80 jumping. So maybe he's going to be like an aerial threat, aerial and power header or something. Who knows? But it should be a little cheaper, fingers crossed. And then uh, that should be an SBC we see today. Might just be a fun card to try or any Everton fans or sorry, Brighton fans, not Everton. Brighton fans will be very excited to use Evan Ferguson there. Also coming today would be a, I think the hero pick is refreshing today. Not that I've done it or plan to do it, but I believe that is refreshing today because usually the icon pick refreshes on Wednesdays. And then Wednesdays always bring team of the week, which Bon Mati is in team of the week. And so is Bruno Fernandez, double play style plus Bruno Fernandez. Watch out for that today. Not saying there's going to be a lot of hype in that. But, uh, you know, everybody's down for Bruno Fernandez at some point. His highest card right now this year is just an inform that is 89 rated. Um, actually, I thought he did have another version, like a road to the knockouts or something. Is that here on the market? Did he have a road to the knockouts, guys? Yeah, he does. For sure. 90 rated. So his inform today was probably going to be 90 rated. Maybe they give him a nice boost and give him like 80 pace. He needs that. You know, a Bruno Fernandez. I don't know when we're going to get another special for Bruno. It's been a minute since we've had one. Um... Yeah, that could be a card that EA try to fix in somewhere between now and team of the season if he's not going to get a TOTS card. But he might be in the... I don't know, man. Who knows, chat? But uh, Bruno Fernandez is getting a team of the week today, so he's getting a new version with two playstyle pluses. Might be the best version that he has. And uh, I think that's about it, man. Again, another little bit of a quieter day. I'm still grinding through a lot of the packs that we had. Of course, it's a big day for SBC and crafting like that because of the SBC packs we'll be getting from the daily login, which will turn into the objectives. Um, and a quick update on the accounts. I went crazy yesterday. Ended up opening the 700,000 coin pack on the birthday. Didn't get anything insane. I put a clip of it on Twitter. Um, but I did get a lot of fodder, and I'm actually semi-close to getting the last squad of Shuameni done. Probably not my finest moment spending 700,000 coins on a store pack, but you know what? Got to live a little bit, have a little bit of fun. I got Reese James done yesterday, too, with all that fodder, which I could have done a lot of exchanges, and I know I'm putting in a bunch of lower-rated cards here for this SBC that's higher-rated. So I got to get to crafting, open my 84 fives, get myself some higher-rated fodder, get this Shuameni done. And then maybe we'll just stock up on some fodder because I think all the player species that are out still right now, I don't really have too much interest in. Maybe I'll do the showdown just to have some skin in the game for that one. Quadrado, Openda, Grimaldo, I feel like I should do just to have him in the club because he's super duper cheap. Um, other than that, I, I haven't done Dybala yet. But the rest of the SBCs to me, I don't know, they don't look that crazy. And there's no icons that I really just want to start splurging on right away, at least before we see what this Golasso promo is going to be about so that's the video for today guys maybe those surprises with something on a wednesday today but i'm gonna keep trading keep trying to get these coins coming in and out uh since we spent 700,000 coins on a pack yesterday we got to get these coins back and uh up a little bit higher somehow so we're gonna work on that 
move the market a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the stream today. Should be a good one. If you liked the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys in the stream today. That link is down below in the description. Keep you guys. See you guys there. Peace. Out.